Thank you for tuning in, Voice of Reason Boston. This morning we have Victory Human Services with us today. We have Lucinda Correa Smith. She is the director of marketing for the organization. We have uh, Westner Bazil. He is the outreach um, representative for the organization. Today we're going to talk about the services that they provide to the community of Boston, not only in Boston, but I believe in um, Brockton as well and some other areas. And we're going to talk about um, what it is that you provide for the community. Um, and I know that you said it's a free service, so free is always good. And what it is that you do and uh, what are the areas that you focus on um, with adult care um, in the community. So, so tune in um, with us here, as well as my Facebook uh, viewers. Uh, we're going to be talking about the importance of having these services in the community and how we can keep pushing to have more services of as what they provide in the community of Boston. Um, Wisner and Lucinda, thank you for coming. We really appreciate you coming in here. Um, if you can just introduce yourself to people who are tuning in and listening um, to this segment, just you know, give us some education about Victory Human Services and what you guys are all about. Okay, thank you so much for Thank you so much for having us, Tamisha. We really appreciate this opportunity to to talk about um, Victory Human Services, but more importantly, to also just share um, information that is um, for our community and generally for the general population. So um, Victory is a human service company, and we provide AFC, which is in-home adult foster care services. And what that means is we provide uh, services to any elderly that has disadvantages or um, and the dis disabled population. So if you're at home and you take care of anyone that is over the age of 16 who may be disabled or again disadvantaged uh, from doing their day-to-day -day activities of daily living, we provide services and support and more importantly financial assistance. Mm -hmm. So basically you are receiving financial help from the state of Massachusetts to care for your loved one or a community member that you've known all your life, um, anyone that you are caring for. Um, generally, that's what the AFC program entails. I think that's very <clears throat> important for us to know about that because we all know that not everybody has the access and means to take care of a loved one. Um, oftentimes, some people may have to leave their job to care for a mother or a father or even a child um, with a disability. So it's very important that, you know, we share these kind of resources with the community because there are resources out there, but you just Absolutely. need to know more about it. Um, and Westner, if you can share a little bit about you and, and what you do for Victory Human Services. Uh, thank you for having us. Um, like you said, my name is uh, Westner. I mean, rest là na fait en créole. Non, okay. tout le monde est bonjour, tout le monde a la honte badel en Facebook et sur live. Et nom c'est Wesley encore. Et puis ça me fait en uh, Victory Human Services. Uh, outreach, all de yo a parlé avec et mon yo surtout en la communauté haïtienne. Yo pas qu'on est genre de service. Chaque monde que me parle avec yo pas qu'on est. Quel monde qui a vécu pendant 15, 20 ans mm -hmm. la communauté yo pas qu'on est service. Ça c'est ça fait moins deux heures comme haïtien. Okay. Parler avec ou faire ou qu'on est service ça que yo qu'a joué une aide. Surtout n'a pas dit la cas non. Nous pas habitué à nursing home. Les ils nous entrent par un nombre ici. Les nous yo malade nous mettez au nursing home. Mon yo chagrin yo mourir plus vite. Ce qu'on y a un système qui n'est pas habitué à avoir, il y a des gars qui sont petits pour les gens, pour les humilier, pour les gens mourir. Mais le service, ça, les gens qui ont des parents, nous ne mettons pas le nom de ces noms. Et puis, il y a un state là qui a nous l'argent pour nous occuper, pour nous aider, pour nous aider, et puis il y a un monde qui a pour nous vivre ensemble. Et pour ceux qui ne parlent pas Haitian Creole, ce uh, que Westner a dit, c'est que souvent, um, we have people who are not aware of these services. Um, sometimes the elderly, like parents who are elders, uh, they don't want to go to a nursing home and they get depressed. And Westner is an outreach person who goes and talks to the specifically with the Haitian community to let them know that these services are here, they're free, you can stay in your comfort of your own home, and um, we're here to provide you with any means necessary to um, get 
your life going to what it used to be, but a lot of people don't know these services mm -hmm. are available. So that's why it's very important that we have Westner and Lucinda, people like you, to come and talk about it, because it's true. Even though these services are available, not a lot of people have access mm -hmm. to it. So it's re really important for us to uh, um, share this information, and not only with the Haitian community, um, but uh, you're a Cape Verdean. I am. I'm Cape Verdean. Also with the Cape Verdean community and any other communities that can take advantage of these services, I think it's very important because not a lot of people are talking. They're there, right. but not a lot of people are talking about it. Right. So tell me about the mission of Victory Human Services. Um, well, our mission is to serve the underserved population, which is uh, the cultural, um, which is within our cultural realm. Mm -hmm. So the Haitians, the Cape Verdeans, the Spanish, Africans, you know, we're, we, our population generally tend to care for our parents as right. they age, keep our disabled children at home and, and provide them with the best social environment that possible. And what a lot of folks don't know also is that the state is endorsing these such programs mm -hmm. uh, because the state spends millions of dollars per year, per person, if they were to um, live in a nursing home. Right. So rather than spend funds in a facility where there, there's, it's one, one nurse to excuse me, one nurse for every five or ten person, mm -hmm. they'd rather allocate such funds to the home, allowing the family members to care for that individual where they're safe, they're happy, they're in an environment that is socially productive. And so with such programs, not only is the state endorsing it, you know, because they're providing us with the funds, but as a, as a company, we want to make sure that our elders are aging at home. Right. Our kids that have a disadvantage are receiving all of the social support that they, they possibly can get so that at some point in their lives they may be able to um, live independently. And what's the Soka Diasa? That's not fair. I haven't spoken <laughs> my language. <laughs> no, you can speak? No. Go ahead. We Jean and Lucinda Sopalela. Service ça aussi service qui là qui est paré pour moun yo pour aider yo gen l'argent là les moun nan rete lan ka la la pédé moun nan state la li même payer moun ça et puis qui ça pi bon la dan li tax free tonton ça m'a dit bam pa m la dan tax li free ou pa gen tax pour payer lan comme ça et ou ka rete nous connaît les moun yo malade yo dit c'est bon yo rete la ka yo moun ka préoccupé yo a caregive moun ka prend soin yo a qu'on ne peut pas aller au travail mm -hmm. parce qu'il faut exactly. aider les gens. Yeah. C'est la mission de cette tête-là, de dire, OK, ma paix d'eau, ma paix d'eau, ma botte comme ça pour aider les gens, pour aider les gens, pour prendre soin de tant pour aller à la guerre, l'on est sinon. Et je connais beaucoup de gens dans la Haitian communauté, surtout les elders, ils sont peur d'aller à la maison. Ils sont peur de, vous savez, juste even hear about going to the doctors and being able to be diagnosed with a with a with a disease and then knowing the fear that yeah. uh, their child or family member won't be able to uh, take care of, it, of them. And the, the reality, it is a burden to it take is. care of someone who is sick because um, it's a lot of pressure. Um, the financial stability is no longer the same because you're taking care of someone else yeah. as well as your children, as well as yourself. And the mental effect is in it, it's yes. it's very hard. So it's it's important for those who are tuning in. If you have questions, definitely give us a call. If you want to get access to the services that Victory Human Services is providing, definitely call us at 617-328-7514. Again, the number is 617-328-7514. And it's true, Lucinda. You know, oftentimes I hear a lot of people say, um, you know, you got to be with Mass Health. Um, you know, you can't qualify for certain programs if you don't have Mass Health. Um, my question to you is: Oftentimes, do you have like representative to go to the house, sit down with them, talk step by step as far as what it is that if they don't qualify, what it is that they can do in order to see if they can get to some type of program, if not yours, but something to fit around what they really need. Yes, absolutely. We. Uh, representatives such as Westner, we mm -hmm. have um, what we have several representatives that speak several different languages. languages. So based on the need, if if you if there's a need for someone that speaks that language, we have 
that representative do go to the house or myself. We go to the home, we educate the person, um, and we give them a full layout of what potentially their mm -hmm. chances are. Sometimes you may not qualify for this program based on income. It is based on Mass Health. Mass Health, like I said, is the funder. But again, there are many ways. It may take time, time yeah. and, and some research. time and research and resources, but if if the need is there and if you're patient enough and allow us to kind of work with you within mm -hmm. time, if not us, again, the other organization that provides similar um, service, like I said, Boston Central Home Care, mm -hmm. then yes, at one point you will qualify. I had a... Uh, um, um, a potential member that I had to help for almost a year. It was oh, wow. a year. I assisted this young lady. Her parents desperately needed help. Her father pretty much wasn't, um, was no longer mobile. He stayed in the home. And within a year's time, kind of managing their finances and rearranging some things, they were able to qualify. Essentially, they qualified, but when you have to, a two-parent household, so if you have the wife yeah. and the husband, they're putting that income together, which sometimes will kind of over-qualify you. But again, with the research done and the assistance of other organizations that are in, in this feel particularly to help people that are in need, then you will successfully get in in programs like Victory and other um, other support systems. What's no thing is that we buy for ajouter Suli. Ah bon, ça me dit qu'ajouter eh, on dit lance nos sous passer neige qui sous tomber lundi à la. Gon on m'a qui relève, il dit le besoin service là. Mais le temps même c'est la calle pour me venir. Nous qu'a fait le téléphone, nous même obligé conduire à la calle mon ça chita mm -hmm. avec. Chance pour les qualifier pour le programme non? et puis nous faire application et assister le voyer l'aller et puis pour process la commencer et puis d'expliquer le process là qu'on est qu'à venir là qu'à les venir assister et puis si les eh, tout bagage marche bien il y a une belle training qui j'en pour aider mon salon car là qu'à vivre avec. Okay, for those who didn't understand what Westner said, he said that he had a client that called him um, the last week when it was snowing and he could have done it over the phone and um, go through the process of getting resource from uh, Victory Human Services. But he actually drove to this client's house, provided him with all the information, went step by step with him. And if everything went successfully, then they would have had sent a nurse over for him to start the process. So those are the kind of services mm -hmm. that Victory Human Services provide. They go to people's home if you're unable to go to uh, the the headquarters in Brockton. Yes. Um, if you're unable to go to Brockton, then you you are able to. They are able to go to your home and sit down and talk to you. I mean, it is a long process. I would say it's not something that you can rush. Right. But if you really want to get more information about it, you definitely need to reach out to yes. our representative, and they can go step by step with you, and they can even tell you why you don't qualify and what are the what are some of the things that you can do for the next time to see if you can qualify, I would say that. Um, what is the vision for um, Victory Human Services for the community of Boston and any other communities that you are serving? The vision and the, the goal is always to provide um, excellent uh, services and support. And by, and by doing that, we mean reaching all ethnic cultures mm -hmm. and we do that um, by making sure that we pair we have care managers and we have nurses right. that go to the members home or the potential members home on a monthly basis and th those are kind of the services that come in in place with this um, with this with the service that we provide is um, by sending out a nurse or a care manager to uh, provide such assessments, right. it's preventative. Okay, so if there's something ailing or chronic that's happening, by allowing the nurse to go into the home and just making sure that that person is healthy and they're doing their wellness check, then we're, we're able to say, you know, you, you can go to, you need to go to your doctors right away. You need to go see your PCP. And, and by taking such measures, you're preventing that person from having a long stay in the hospital right. because that whatever may be going on is caught instantly. But the get the goal again and the the principle is excuse me the goal again is always mm -hmm. to to try to reach as many 
um, different ethnic cultures as possible and to provide them with the information. And if we can't help, we really truly go out of our way to provide them with another organization or another resource right. that, that would be of help. And what's next, what you say? Bon, ça nous a ajouté sur ça, sur question avant. Gain côté mon yo ka joindre nous. Nous là Catholic Charité à lundi au vendredi. Nous nous gain Christina qui est Spanish, li la lundi mardi 9h30 pour midi. Nous gain Lise qui c'est Cape Verdean, li la pour mercredi le matin et moi même jeudi matin 9h pour midi la Catholic Charité à mm-hmm. et puis vendredi 9h30 pour midi nous là et en pile monde qu'on a adresse ça c'est 185 Columbia Road qui là Dorchester yo ka vinn la vinn joindre nous nous ka aider yo pour uh, appliquer pour programme ça okay um you you were saying he you guys are in catholic charities um between the hours of 9 in the morning mm-hmm. and until what time um uh, we have a uh, monday m'm m- tourner en anglais <laughs> Nous gain lundi c'est 9h30 pour midi. We have Mondays 9 in the morning to 12 12 in the afternoon. And uh, Tuesday uh mardi nous nous gain 9h30 Tuesday uh, at 9:30 pour midi to 12 p.m. at noon. Il y a jeune Christina. You'll find Christina. And nous gain mercredi qui gain Liz 9h30 pour midi. And they have Wednesday Liz is a representative for 9:30 in the morning. Et oui, moi-même là after noon là like, oh, une heure une heure pour cinq heures. And he Westner would be there from one to five. Uh, jeudi. Thursday. Nine thirty to uh, neuf heures et demie pour midi. Nine thirty to twelve. Vendredi neuf heures et demie pour midi. And on Fridays nine thirty to twelve noon. Yeah, yeah join moi la Catholic charity. You can find them at Catholic charities. No, get Somerville too, qui la Catholic charity. I'm la. And they're also located at the um, Catholic charities out in Somerville. Uh, every uh, chaque ma eh, chaque premier mardi, no la. Uh, first month of first Tuesday of the month from nine thirty to twelve. No, the one to four. This one, one to four. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for that, Westner. We have representatives <laughs> out there that uh, is willing to speak to you if you want interested in the Victory Human Services. Now, let's get to the um, services you provide. You provide acquired brain injury, transitional assistant, adult family care, development disability services, and transportation. If we can just go through each of them and sure. so that we can explain to people who are tuning in what exactly are they. Sure. What 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 it entails. So acquired brain injury um, ABI is a service through it's a waiver program through the state so if you've ever if you have a need for a PCA case management um, the we have case managers that will provide you with the services that you need so it's it actually it's encompassed of um, an array of services so of course if you have any kind of brain trauma that's an automatic but if there are other needs again such as PCA homemaker case management those are some of the services that is um, that is within that program Mm -hmm. and again it's a waiver program through the state so the state pretty much determines individuals that have such needs and they send us the clients and we go out and provide um, such services um, we also have a spring uh, Springfield in the Springfield office. We Springfield area, excuse me. We provide um, services for ABI also, and um, AFC, which is the Adult Foster Care, which is um, a, a, one of our largest programs within Victory Human Services. Like I said, we provide in-home adult foster care to anyone that is over the age of 16 that has a disability or any elder that has disadvantages. DDS, Developmental Disability Services, is how uh, Victory Human Services got started. We started with this program back in 2000, so um, we're hitting our 20th year mark. And with DDS, again, it's a state waiver. It's just mm-hmm. through the state. So um, we have group homes that the state will, again, um, appoint individuals that have needs for either um, independent living monitored by um uh, case workers or in-home um, counselors, okay. um, they would send us those individuals, and again, we provide the services. We have uh, 10 
group homes spread out through uh, Boston, some in Boston, some in Brockton, and we have they're all housed and, and fully staffed with members and, um, and workers. And transportation, we provide transportation. We have wheelchair accessible vans. We provide transportation to our clients and also I think outside. that's the number one. That's the biggest thing, transportation. Because yeah. not a, everybody has access to the T. Not everyone can get on the T. And not everybody can afford to get on the T. Very so tr transportation is, I think, is the number one importance in the community as far as knowing that a service provides a, a transportation for the, for them to get to go to somewhere and coming from, um, you know, like medical appointments. Yes, we our transportation we we do very well, and most of the clients that we have, which you, who utilizes our transportation services, have been with us since we first started. Yeah. So they we we pick them up, drop them off at home, very 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 um, well cared for. So I, I think that they really enjoy that. Mm -hmm. Was ne so ka di mun kapitan de yo service no 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 bay mun na community an ki jan important pou mun konnen ki service no bay ki jan pou yo joine service lan apre tout sa no bay lan ki jan mun ka pran avantage and for those who don't understand mm -hmm. Haitian Creole I'm asking Westner to elaborate more on the services that they provide mostly for the Haitian community and how it's important for them to take advantage of it Jean Lusanda Sud Palia, Gang Paquet Service, uh Victor Human Services. Uh no get transportation, no cone a pill a situ m a moon pamio a isien yo, you pack on a service uh on pill for you vin Catholic Church a lot palave, you pack on Jean no by transportation, kika e de you vin chache, manje, e be po a la ka you you carry le if you see you gain a appointment kai doctor yo ka rele e pou yo vin chache yo mené ou lan rendez-vous et puis pou mené ou la kai yo okay that's good since lucinda said that so i don't need to trans translate it <laughs> it's just the same that you just said um what is the important the importance in our in your organization um why excuse me let me reframe that question mm -hmm. again why is it important to have an organization like victory human services in the community, not only in Boston, but Brockton, you said Springfield. Yes. Why is it important to have these things? Although we know there are services out there, but they are not really reaching out to, I would say, half of the population. Mm -hmm. People are aware, but we need, I think we need to do more. Yeah, absolutely. It's important for folks to know that you know, despite the daily struggles sometimes that we all mm -hmm. kind of um, go through, you, you have help out there. You have folks just like you, everyday people, you know, I'm a mother of three, Westner has children himself, but that can understand your day-to-day -day struggles. You mm -hmm. know, we're here to help you. We're here to assist you with by any means necessary to let you know that if you have parents that you're caring for, there's so much that we can help with. There's day programs that we can help you to get them into. So even if you are on AFC, you can have your parents attend a day program, a day program that is full of activities, that is enriched with folks just like them so mm -hmm. that they can communicate. Sometimes, you know, particularly people of age, they want to speak their language with their common folk. Mm -hmm. They want to engage in a game, you know, perhaps a game that they played, you know, when they were back home or something. Yeah. I know that I have elderly parents and they go, go to the adult day care program in the morning. My sister is their caregiver. And when they come home, she provides all of the necessary adult day-to-day -day life I, things that they need, but mm -hmm. it's great for them to get out and, and you know, again, have social interaction, interact with people mm -hmm. of their own age, of their own kind. Um, sometimes there's even um, prayer, Christian prayers, prayer, group. prayer groups within the adult day programs, which is really enriching for their lives. And, um, and we just, we want you to know that you can do things like this and still be on AFC because right. when you come home the fact of the matter is you're still needing that assistance. And I think it's good for them emotionally, uh, mentally, 
because it, it, it doesn't stop there. Right. It keeps them going because oftentimes when people are, are disabled, they have a sense of, my life is over. I can't yes. do what I used to do. But right. it's actually not true. Not. And you just get the right people around you, get the right services to help you get your spirit back up. Absolutely. And you said something important, uh, the day program. Is it safe to say if you don't qualify for some of the programs, there are certain specific things that they can qualify? Like, if not all, but a day program, can they just qualify for that? Yes, regarding AFC, so if you're on adult foster care, an adult foster care, so we pay the caregiver, we pay the individual that lives with you in the home to help to take care of you. So I'm just going to use an example. So, for example, my sister that takes care of my dad, she works nine mm -hmm. to five. My dad goes to daycare program from eight to four. So when he's home, we make sure that there's someone. He when he comes home from the day program, we make sure there's someone there with him to assist him. And then when um, when she's there, she has to cook for him and help him to get in his chair and mm -hmm. do the day to day things. But yes, you can qualify for the AFC and still have adult day program or you can, if you have to go to skilled nursing you still can have AFC and still go to uh, skilled nursing or rehab or any other services that you need to be able to you know mm -hmm. do your so if you're not qualified for one you can qualify for the second right well yeah something in that round realm yes there's always something that you're going to qualify for okay that's uh, that's <laughs> Uh, bon, ma ajouté sur ça, uh, Lucinda Sodiav. Uh, là, nous commençons le programme ça, le programme qui vient des Kerio, le pour tigre monaïsien ou alia. Moi, été contacté en pile là, mais mm -hmm. ils ont hésitation, hésitation au gain. Ils connaissent si mon allé des programmes là, car car les cas pas vini, uh, s'il qualifie pour EFCA programme Victory Human Service là, les cas pas vini là des Kerio. Okay. Nedi li kalan de ke la et puis tout le qualifié pour programme ça. Haïtien ont gonti, yo gonti gens hésité là nous parler de uh, Victory Human Services. Okay. Okay. So, um what Westner said was there's a little hesitation with when it comes to the adult foster care in the Haitian community uh where there's a uh, a the day program. Uh, people are qualified for the day program, so it's it's very important to come and get information on what the adult foster care provides right. and how you can get involved right. and how you can get more access to it even for your parents because sometimes you don't want to leave them home by themselves but mm -hmm. there's transportation that can pick Correct. them up and then drop them off at a certain time absolutely so mentally it's really good for them yes. to to access yes. okay and wisnek ki so ka di um ki important pour communauté haïtien ki réellement important pour moun ki besoin Qui gagne par an qui t'a remis mettez au nom programme um, de care pour yo pour yo connait yo na lot moun yo yo partage joindre chaque jour pour yo parler mais si yo al nan programme nan yo gagne droit parler avec lot moun pareil yo yo gagne comme Lucine de te dit yo gagne un uh, groupe chrétien yo ka prier ensemble yes bon programme ça important premier bagage n'a dit la culture là ca non et haïtien nous habitué vivre en communauté Yon vive à l'autre, nous vivons ensemble. Mais la culture, bon, ici, elle est différente de la caille, non? Parce que nous gagnons pour notre travail en pile responsabilité. Ouais. Nous n'avons pas de temps pour les parents. Nous. Mais là, vous mettez un parent dans des programmes, la jeunes amis, famille, vous n'avez pas qu'on ait fait de nouveaux amis, vous avez joué domino ensemble, vous avez tout joué, tout joué, nous avons joué la caille, vous avez fait un programme ça, un programme haïtien, vous avez joué prier ensemble, fait toute activité ensemble, fait un jeune d'adhère, un jeune pour vivre, et qui a fait vivre plus longtemps. Ce qui, si vous êtes là, vous regardez la télévision, vous ne pouvez pas même comprendre, vous ne pouvez pas comme ça, vous ne Et puis, faire au chagrin, mourir plus vite. Mais si vous avez l'activité, si vous ne pouvez pas visiter, par exemple, Kaipam, Saint Delvie, ou est-ce que les gens sont ensemble, qui sont à vivre, qui sont à vivre ensemble. Ça fait qu'ils vivent plus longtemps. Oui. Donc, tell us, um, give us more information on your location, the website, where they can get more information. Of course, they're on Facebook, mm -hmm. and I'll share as well. And, um, you know, how they can get access and phone numbers to reach out to you, Wisner, for the Haitian community, if you want to get more information. 
Westner will provide his information, his phone number, as well as the um, community for Cape Verdean community as well. Yes. Lucinda will provide her information as well. This information is for you all, those who are tuning on Facebook, those who are tuning in on air. This is for you. I'm bringing this information for you to access in your community so that people can enjoy the fruit of, of what this country has to offer. Absolutely. Um, um, it's free but there may be stipulations depending on your um, health insur mm -hmm. insurance. But there's also ways that you can help them find other resources that can help them if they don't qualify through MassHealth. Absolutely, it's worth the conversation. Um, so you can give us a call. Our office, again, my name is Lucinda, and you can reach me directly at 617-388-4200. Uh, website is www.victoryhs for human service .com. and our office number, which is we are, we have a receptionist from nine to five Monday through Friday, is 508-232-3774. Which nation would be joining information the community? communauté um, haïtienne qui j'en yo ka fait contacter ou eh ben non moi j'en dis assez Wesner Basile en uh, numéro de téléphone uh, nous gain deux numéros car il est dans 781 539 9208 781 539 9208 l'autre numéro c'est 508 904 1983 508 904 1983 ou car il est dans deux numéros ça et puis n'a pas assisto pour être qualifié pour le programme ça. Et puis la PDO, si vous avez rentré dans le poche, tout le monde a bien content et grand monde a bien content, maman, papa, 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 uh, that are home, that are not participating or taking advantage of these programs. Mm, I, know. Um, I know my grandmother, she doesn't go to the adult program. She's like so comfortable mm -hmm. in her own mm -hmm. space and it's kind of hard to push her out. But if she's doing that, how many more other people that are doing it too? And I think it's important that, you know, you all go to Christian churches because there's a lot of um, yes. elderlies there to tell them about these services because not everybody knows. The, the information is there, but it, it's not very accessible to them. Yes. And I know Westner's doing a great job in the Haitian community yes, he is. trying to get people's attention, get the community on board with the services that they provide, but we still have a lot of work to do, yes. I would say. And also, I would like to send my condolence Hello. out to the Lewis family. Bishop, mm -hmm. Your phone um, Rev. Bishop Lewis um, passed away. He was one of the um, pioneers in the Haitian community for everyone um, and our condolence goes out to his children and to the community of Boston and we will keep them in our prayers. Thank you for tuning in Voice of Reason Boston.